Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Waypoint. Today we are looking at San Jacinto Peak via the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway. This trail is about 11 miles long and gains about 2300 feet. Now this is kind of a unique trip because you start out in the valley floor around 2600 feet and you take a tram to get to the trailhead which is at about 8500 feet. So it's kind of a unique way to get up there. Some people call it cheating. Uh, I don't look at it that way. So here we go, uh, looking at the trail. You can see the tramway at the edge of that drop off there. We'll look at how that takes you up here in a sec. Uh, winding around, you make your way up towards the Round Valley Campground, which is a very popular campground. You see quite a few um, hikers going through there. They have some running water and some marked campsites. Uh, continuing on, you head towards Wellman's Divide. Now, I've also hiked this route from the Devil's Slide Trail from Hummer Park, which meets up at Wellman's Divide. And then from there, everybody kind of meanders along this open ridge line, uh, and then the ridge line switches back and forth uh, to a summit turnoff where you see a 0.3 mile sign. And then after you hit that summit turnoff, you wind your way up to the peak and then you can look over the valley floor where you just came from. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this trail goes down and we'll start at the valley floor at the tramway. So this is the parking lot for the tram station. I actually drove from San Diego in the morning and took about two hours, got to the tramway, bought the ticket, the first ride up is about 8, I think. So they have a little picnicking area here. Uh, this is the holding area to get onto the tram. And you can see some other hikers there. This is the first tram up. So quite a few people ride this tram throughout the day. It's kind of a touristy thing to do, but it is interesting. They have a recorded message that plays, tells you a little bit about the area. One of the really unique things about this tram is that it actually rotates as you're ascending. You can see the cab moving around here. There's a total of 27 miles of various sized cables in the support, movement, and communication of the tramway. So this is at the top of the tramway. There's a little ranger station restaurant there on the left. And then this cement trail winds down towards the ranger station, which is just about a mile away. You see it there. And it was actually closed when I got there, so you want to make sure you have your map ahead of time. Everybody needs to fill out a day permit, which you just do right there on the spot. So this is Round Valley Meadow, and it's a very popular camping area. If you want to camp overnight, you do need a permit. They're free. And you'll notice here on the left, there are these marked pathways that lead off the main trail. And these are marked campsites. So when you get your permit, they'll say, okay, you go to campsite 85 or you go to 63. So it's a little more structured than like a straight back country uh, camping. A couple of outhouses there in Round Valley. and a water source. And that is a little ranger station. And then there's another campground further up that road. So this just kind of gives you an idea. This trail is very forested most of the way. It doesn't really get above the tree line until the very end. And it's just a nice shaded hike. This is Wellman's Divide, 9,700 feet you can see there. So is it normally, when does it start snowing up here? 
And this is where you would come from Humber Park if you're doing the Devil's Slide Trail. Another view of Wellman's Divide. Now if you remember on the map at the beginning of this video, there was an exposed ridge line after Wellman's Divide. This is that ridge line here. You, the trees start disappearing. You start to feel the altitude here because you're just getting over 10,000, especially if you come from the valley floor a couple hours earlier. And this just goes on for a couple miles until you hit this sign. And this sign, at the very bottom of it, you'll see a 0.3 to the peak. So the last part of this trail is a scramble. There is no real marked trail. You just kind of look for rocks. And you just head up uh, to the peak and just kind of scramble your way up. So this is on top of San Jacinto Peak. You can see the little marker there. And this day the clouds were just starting to come in. But you can see the valley floor there in the distance. And this is a little storm shelter near the peak where the trail turns into a scramble area. And it's actually pretty well outfitted compared to like the Whitney shelter, which doesn't have anything in it. I have heard of snow falling up here on hikers late in the season, but we were pretty lucky to not have that. So here we are, one more look at this uh, very scenic trail in my opinion. I think it's a fun way to do it. You get to ride a tram up, and then you get to hike to the second tallest peak in Southern California, right across the way from San Gorgonio Mountain at 11,500. Thanks for stopping by today, everybody. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It is free at videowaypoint.com. You can keep up on all the latest trails, tips, blog entries, and also be sure to check out the store while you're there. It is hand-picked items that we ourselves use and enjoy. And you can support Video Waypoint while you're doing it. So it is a win-win. Thanks everybody for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.